Tips. That's what we're all here for. Tips on how to get the most out of your Apple products. I'm Darcy, and welcome to Screencasts Online. Today's video is a tip on Tips, the Apple app developed to help you get the most out of your products. Now, if like me, you found the Tips app rather annoying and deleted it from your iPhone, you'll be delighted to hear it's actually had some significant updates, though still not a substitute for your beloved screencasts, and can be re-downloaded in the App Store. When I open the app as an Apple Watch owner, I'm greeted by this beautiful animation, highlighting what's new in WatchOS 10. The interface is cleaner than I remember, and is broken down into sections. Remember, with any tip you see here, they can be searched for at the very top. Tap on the banner, and I'm taken to a page with a handful of tips. The first is Get Timely Information. This tip is using the digital crown on the Apple Watch face to scroll through reminders, boarding passes, and more. Access the next tip by swiping left. Smart stacks have come to Apple Watch, and they can be customized. To add a widget to your smart stack on the home screen, touch it and hold, then tap the plus. The tips continue as you swipe left. Now, that's not the end of tips for the watch, but we're going to visit some other sections and discover some new ones. Getting started is broken down into three categories. Tap on the setup checklist. Here are all the core features you'd likely set up with a new device. You can see I have most of them enabled, such as Face ID, iCloud Backup, and Find My iPhone. But the Tips app knows I haven't set up a recovery contact. The explanation reads, get help if you forget your Apple ID password. Basically, you can assign another person by their Apple ID to act as a second person who can reset your Apple ID password. This obviously should only be someone you really trust. Tap on Add Recovery Contact, and we're taken straight to the place in settings to set it up. The same goes for other items on the checklist. A lot of them are linked to their respective settings, so you can get going right from the app. Back on the main page, and tap on Navigate Your iPhone. You can explore them all, but there are two that I want to highlight here. We all know by now that you can return to the home screen by swiping up from the bottom of your display. But you can also switch apps by swiping up and holding. Here you can view all your recently opened apps. Tap any of them to open. You can also just swipe directly to the right or left across the base of your display to move directly between those apps. And for some more gestures, tap on Practice Key Gestures from the main page. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.